Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of IT Career Weekly, where we're going to be covering days May 10th through May 16th. In this video, we'll cover the industry snapshot, job market updates, emerging tech and AI impact, workplace trends, career opportunities, community corner, and of course, the final takeaway. My name is Zach Hill. I'm going to be your host today, and I'm excited to get started. So let's jump right in. In the industry snapshot this week, we've seen the U.S. labor market is showing strain with job openings declining and over 52,000 tech jobs cut so far in 2025. Tech layoffs continue as companies realign around AI, cloud efficiency, and automation. Job market updates, recent layoffs, Microsoft eliminated over 6,000 roles. That's about 3% of their workforce. Match Group eliminated 325 jobs, which is about 13% reduction in their workforce. And CrowdStrike eliminated 500 roles to optimize their cybersecurity operations. However, on the bright side of things, AI-related roles now make up to 9.5% of all software dev job postings. I don't know if that's exactly a bright side, but it's something. Companies are actively hiring for roles in cloud infrastructure, AI tooling, and InfoSec. So those are three key areas that you should pay attention to. Emerging tech and AI impact workforce shifts. 40% of employers are expected to automate jobs with AI. However, a projected 12 million net jobs are being created globally due to AI innovations. So as we've stated in previous videos, we are going to evolve with AI. So while jobs will be displaced, we will find new jobs taking their place. Key implications though, AI fluency is now a career multiplier for sure. Roles are evolving. Hybrid skills and human in the loop problem solving are vital. Entry level job seekers are expected to demonstrate more hands on and adaptive capabilities. So, being able to actually show that you can get hands on with the technologies and the tools, as well as communicating with these users, are going to be extremely beneficial for you. Workplace trends, performance emphasis. Companies are using performance reviews more aggressively. Microsoft has reportedly enforced rehire bans for some laid off workers. That's interesting to note. So don't burn bridges. Employee morale, increased AI adoption, reduced perks and performance scrutiny are creating a tougher work culture, especially for Gen Z and junior tech staff. Very interesting to note how that could be having an impact on newer hires. Career opportunities. Some of the hot roles that we're seeing right now are AI integration specialists, anything that's going to be with AI, honestly, uh, cloud engineers, cybersecurity analysts, and IAM specialists. That's identity access management. I have a few recommendations for certifications. Is that some, a route that you're looking to go down? CompTIA Security Plus is going to be a good one. The AWS Cloud Practitioner is going to be another one that is definitely going to help set you apart. Those are two certifications right now that are really going to stand out. So definitely look into those if you are looking to get new training or a cert. Community Corner events and conferences, Wild West Hack and Fest coming up in Deadwood 2025. That's in October. October. Very excited for that. I'm going to have hands-on training. We'll have career villages there. And of course, plenty of talks and I'll be there. I'm super excited for it. Can't wait to be there. And then Google IO 2025. And another reminder, we are going to the Washington DC area in July for hands-on pay forward what you can training. It starts at $25. It's going to be in-person also be hybrid as well. So if that's something you're interested in and you want to get some foundational cybersecurity training, please check us out at Anti-Siphon at our summer camp in July. I'll put more info in the description and all that fun stuff. Moving on to webinars and community events, I want to highlight two things that we do every single week. That is every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, the Anti-Siphon team goes over to our Black Hills Discord server to do a weekly AMA or Q&A. Everybody is welcome. You're more than welcome to participate, ask questions, or even help answer questions. It's a very open format where we just go and hang out and help people who are looking to get into IT and cybersecurity more than welcome to join. So check out the link in the description. You'll find it. And then every Wednesday, we also do a webcast where we teach people on a new topic. And you can always stay up to date with what's going on by going to poweredbybhs.com. Links in the description as well. And of course, there are a lot of other organizations out there who do weekly or even monthly live events, live streams, and things like that that are completely free. TCM Security does a weekly live stream. Pretty sure Tiberius does a weekly live stream still. Jerry Osier over at Simply Cyber does a daily live stream. And these are all great community-based events or streams 
webinars, whatever you want to call them, that you can get involved with. And I would strongly suggest going to check those out. This week's learning resource is powered by Tyler Ramsby. He just released a new intro to AWS hacking course or intro to AWS pen testing class. And I want to go and give him a shout out because he's been out there crushing it lately. And he's a phenomenal person. I have the utmost respect for Tyler. And if you are interested in pen testing, trying to figure out how to get started, definitely check out his class. It is phenomenal from everything that I've heard so far. And again, just a really cool dude. So that's the learning resource highlight of the week. Now, before we go to the final takeaway, I want to talk about some numbers for the week. We're just going to do some quick averages here. So the average per day for help desk was around 17,000, meaning there are about 17,000 jobs posted every day throughout May 10th through the 16th that were help desk related. And for um, from May 10th to May 16th, there are around 5,300 or so CCNA jobs that were posted. And from May 10th to the 16th, there were around 5,800 or so uh, CompTIA Security Plus jobs posted. Another thing that I wanted to highlight between May 10th and May 16th, the daily counts for entry level or help desk jobs requesting AI experience were essentially kind of flat from last week as well. It was around 250 to 260 jobs per day that were searching for AI in those entry level roles. So something important to highlight there. And moving on to this week's question of the week comes from Kelly Condi. I'm really bad at names, so I'm just going to butcher that. And this question is actually really difficult to read. So I'm going to kind of summarize it. Um, they're essentially asking what they can do to help themselves get started in the field. They're going through, they're studying for their A+, plus, Security+, plus, Network+, plus, but what else can they do? Uh, the first thing that you can do is start networking with people. Get out onto LinkedIn, get into some Discord servers, go to meetup.com, find local events in your area, start networking with people. That is going to be the biggest, first, best step that you can do. Always, hands down. That's always going to be the best step that you can do. And then trying to answer other parts of your question, you don't really need to know math to work in IT or cybersecurity at all. You have a calculator in your pocket. You don't need to be an expert at math you're all good. And if you're in a SOC analyst type of position, unless you're in a company that uh, does like repairs, like outside repairs, um, like services repairs and things like that, maybe you have to travel from location to location, things like that. That might be the only time where you see commission. But if you're in an actual like SOC, for instance, uh, where you are, you know, you're working every single day in that same location, or maybe, you know, the, that business has their own, you know, their own dedicated locations that you have to service, you're not going to get any commission for making any repairs on devices. Uh, so there, there, yeah, there are roles out there where you can get commission for doing those things, but they are very, very specific to um, that type of role, meaning you more than likely won't get like a salary and things like that. Uh, you might get like paid hourly, um, but you're really going to be dependent on that commission. And that could be hard to do sometimes, but those are you know few and far between these days. So hopefully I answered that question. All right. If anybody else has any other questions they want featured in the um, end of these videos, please put them in the comments below so I can go through and do these every single week. So let's move on to our final takeaway. The headlines might focus a lot on layoffs, but underneath it all, IT isn't shrinking. It's transforming. Roles that support secure and integrate technologies are growing. And if you keep learning and showing up there, there's room for you. That's an ever evolving field. And again, I have to stress this so incredibly much. AI, while it is displacing people, we will evolve through this and we will find jobs from this. And if there's any suggestion that I could give to you, it's to learn all the things you can about AI. And I got a question recently, what does it mean to learn AI? So I'm actually working on a video right now where I can talk about actually learning the fundamentals of AI, which is just prompting. That's all it is. And there's there's really, really good ways to do it. And there are really bad ways to do it. So we'll go over that in a future video. I have all the slides built out already, which I'm super stoked about. So anyway, let's continue this final takeaway. Focus on building projects. I cannot recommend that enough. Definitely projects are going to be extremely helpful for you, especially for those of you out there who have no experience working in IT yet. You can start building projects, document those projects, write blogs about those projects, make a video about those projects, post about it on LinkedIn, share it with a community. There are so many things that, that would be helpful for you just by doing a project and sharing that. So please 
start there. Joining communities, for sure. That's an, another excellent uh, option for you. Communities are going to be very, very helpful for you. The Black Hills community is one of the most amazing communities I've ever been a part of. TCM Security also has a really great community as well. Check them out. It's a lot of great people there who always want to help. It's awesome. So yeah, focus on building projects, joining communities, and learning just enough to try. It's always fun to learn new things. So stay sharp, stay curious, stay human in this ever-growing field of AI just kind of taking over. <laughs> anyway, hope you all appreciate these videos. I'm having a good time creating these videos. I almost didn't get this video out this week. I might not even get it out today, which is Friday. Um, maybe I'll get it out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. So uh, hopefully you enjoy them as well. Anyway, that's all I got for you all today. As always, take it easy.